All right, quick TA update on Bitcoin. I'm going to make this pretty quick because I do want to get this out as soon as possible. In this video, we're going to be talking about the massive, massive capitulation that we've got going on right now. We're going to talk about why this is happening, where to expect Bitcoin to move down to next. We're going to talk about the volume that's coming in, the Bitcoin dominance and the greater markets. Let's jump right into things. So as you can see, I want to clear up the chart a bit because yes, we are still trending sideways within this big, big channel that I, uh, I have been talking about in my videos, but more specifically, we've been having this asymmetrical triangle pattern panning out since the 9th of May. If you want to draw it down to the bottom, the 12th of May. So we've been in this ascending triangle now for 30 days, almost 30 days, about 29 and a half days. And at this moment in time, as of the time of recording, we are having a massive, massive capitulation. So right off the back, I do think we are probably going to move down about another 2.35%. Now, before we talk about why this is happening, uh, I did just make a video about why it is because of the CPI. But specifically, I want to talk about the volume very, very quick. Because if we come over to Bybit, you can see... I'm specifically looking at the hourly time frame. When the news on the CPI came out, 24,000 Bitcoin was sold in one hour. If we look over onto the hour that we're currently in right now, we've got about 18,000 Bitcoin sold. If we come over to Binance, uh, the previous hour, 9,000 Bitcoin sold right now, pushing up for 8,000 Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is getting dumped like there is no tomorrow right now. And like I said, this is happening because of the CPI report. The CPI is up 1% as of April. That represents a year-to-date uh, swing swing up of 8.6%. So within the past year to date, May to May, uh, it has moved up 8.6%, which is absolutely brutal. This is the highest uh, CPI inflation or this highest CPI increase we've seen in 40 years. So I do think we are going to continue to move down. Uh, I might talk about this in a later video, but when you look at US wages in real terms, everything is going down. You know, people are making less money in terms of real monetary value. Uh, and that's a, uh, some people might not understand that, uh, that concept, uh, real monetary value or real prices. Uh, it's a concept in economics. If you've obviously got an increase in the money supply right now, so yes, you might be having a 5% raise at your job, but if the inflation is, you know, 20%, then the real prices, uh, all the real wages that you are getting are down 15%. And the real wages for Americans right now are plummeting, CPI is going up, so the cost of living is increasing. And because of all this, all of this amalgamation of things, the, uh, the price of the markets, uh, are heavily, heavily colliding to the downside. Now, I do believe, I've been saying this for, the, for quite a while now, but I do believe the market's entering a risk-off phase, meaning that people are very, very likely to continue to leave the stock market. If we look at the stock market as well, uh, it's not only Bitcoin and the crypto markets. Look at what the stock market has done. You know, we're down 2%, which is absolutely insane. I mean, um, take this into consideration. The stock market, SPY, is down over 2% today. And Bitcoin is down, you know, 2.5%. So in my opinion, I think Bitcoin has a lot, lot further to go down. And for the past couple of weeks, I've been talking about my macro, my macro prediction of us moving down to 23,000. It does seem like that is coming uh, closer and closer to fruition. Now, I've also been telling you, uh, while I have been saying it, it, it did seem likely that we were going to break to the upside, I was always saying that we should wait for a break out of this channel. Either way, we still haven't had a break, uh, had a break out of the channel, but nonetheless, this asymmetrical triangle has started to move down to the downside. If we look at our momentum indicators, uh, I specifically want to go over to the one hour to start with to see how bad momentum shifted. So we were in a cooling off phase where uh, bears were running out of momentum or, you know, as I like to say, when you're in a downtrend and the squeeze bomb is starting to head down, it's really the bears taking a breather unless you swing over back to the side of the bulls. And this is exactly what we've done. We went from light red indicative to bears being in massive control of the market, swinged over to dark red indicative that we are running out of momentum or taking a break, like I said. And at this moment in time, you can see we've just printed the new hourly candle over on the squeeze bomb because it has just ticked over to three o'clock where I live. And we are massive massively moving to the downside the squeeze mom is absolutely rampaging down 
Uh, oh my gosh, look at this four hourly squeeze mom. This this represents a one candle swing. And you know, the last time I can see at least on the chart that we had a massive, massive run up in one candle was here and we had more momentum to go to the downside. We kind of just rounded down into the bottom of this. The reason the squeeze mom started to head down is because we were below the uh, EMA ribbons. But now we are breaking below patterns. We're breaking below 13 EMAs. We're breaking below EMA ribbons. And for all of these things, uh, add that with the fact that the DXY, the US dollar index, is going on a rampage right now. I've been telling you for the past couple of weeks, do not count the dollar out until it is all said and done. Tons of uh, tons of crypto people have been saying, you know, the dollar's done, dollar's done, dollar's done. And we've been saying, keep an eye on this, uh, this big resistance box, because if we just come back down to the bottom of this, and if we just retest the EMA ribbons and start to head up, it's going to be brutal. Uh, what did we do? Well, if we come over to the four hourly time frame, uh, if I clear this up a tiny bit actually so you can see it a lot, lot nicer, you can see if I switch this over to yellow, we were in a very, very big bear flag and what have we done in the past, uh, the past day or so, we've started to absolutely tank to the upside. Uh, I don't know if tank's the right word. We started to moon to the upside. So we've broken out of this bear flag. EMA ribbons are starting to heavily, heavily turn up on the dollar. Squeeze one is heading up. Because of all these reasons, I, I can't be bullish uh, on the crypto markets right now. But, you know, the dollar looks like it wants to push up for one more high. Whether it is going to still be in this triple top structure before it comes down later on in the year, that is yet to be noted. But I have been saying this is not the time to buy altcoins. Uh, sure, if you want to DCA Bitcoin, I really don't think this is a terrible area to DCA. However, I do think we are heading down uh, to 23,000 in the next couple of weeks or so. I specifically think this might happen after the FOMC meeting, which is on the 5th. Uh, if they do raise the interest rates, then not only have we got uh, an amalgamation between real wages going down, consumer price index, meaning the cost of living is going up, you know, pair that with, uh, you know, real wages going down as well. It's just making it a lot harder for the average American, uh, you know, the, the average person really to get by, scrape by, buy the same bag of groceries. And because of that, people are going to have less money to invest in the crypto markets. They're going to have less money to invest in the stock markets. It sucks, but it is what it is. And we have to react to what is going on in the markets. And in my opinion, this is the time where we should expect one more big swing to the downside. That is, that's basically all I've got. Uh, Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance not doing too much actually since the CPI this has started to head down. Uh, I do think this is just going to be a micro reaction though. I have a very very strong feeling that if uh, you know the crypto markets do keep on dropping that Bitcoin is going to massively outperform. Bitcoin's been uh, the Bitcoin dominance rather has been on an absolute rampage. If we switch over to the Hikonoshis, you know we're we're having two days in the red right now. The previous time we did this we had three days in the red and then a couple of days later we were once again initiating our rally. So don't be surprised. You know the first time we had a bull flag uh, or you know we uh, had a pole up into a rising wedge, pole up into a rising wedge, whatever you want to call it, bull flag, bullish pennant. If you just want to consider this a run up into a new uh, into a new wedge then fair enough but either way you know we've run up into this range the last time we did this we took a couple of days breather we came back down to the bottom of it and then we broke up and this is what we're doing right now obviously i can't speak about uh whether we're going to hold it i, I do think we are going to hold it i don't have a crystal ball however but right now i think this is really the time uh that if you are investing in alt cranes then you should look at the bitcoin pairs because bitcoin is going to continue to outperform them uh, and like i said bitcoin is very very likely uh, to continue moving down to the downside so i believe that's basically all i've got today we covered the dollar we covered the stock market stock market has started to capitulate even further down 2.5 percent uh bear in mind bitcoin is only down 2.5 percent so expect this to massively massively start to run down short Bitcoin shorts, they look like they are on the up and up. However, the Bitcoin longs are also heavily, heavily running to the upside. Uh, not that it matters too much. I want to check out what some of the stocks are doing. Uh, Coinbase stock capitulating. Looks like it's about to head down to new lows again. The Nasdaq opened bearish from the pre-market. Massively, massively heading down. SPX looks like it's heading down to new lows. Google heading down to new lows. Tesla, new lows. Facebook, pretty much already in the new lows. Uh, Airbnb heading down to new lows, Apple heading down to new lows, Netflix heading down to new lows, Microsoft heading down to new lows. Bear in mind these are local lows, you know, you obviously zoom out and these have been on massive, massive runs over the past couple of years or so. 
but Every now and then in the stock market, you have these massive, massive capitulations. And often they're very short-lived. Like, for example, here you can see massive cascade. This wasn't too bad. We actually held the 200 EMA, held the 200 EMA, held the 200 EMA, massive cascade. And as you can see, these are not, you know, they, they don't last multitudes of years. But in my opinion, we really should be expecting, you know, the worst. And, you know, preparing, uh, preparing for the worst, hoping for the best. But like I said, the markets are really, really not looking good right now. That's all I've got for you today. Expect for Bitcoin to move down to 28,600. Uh, at this moment in time, I wouldn't be looking at any short positions per se over on Bitcoin. I'd really be waiting for that massive breakdown from 28,600. Uh, if you want to know my trading plan at this moment in time, I have a multitude of buy orders, uh, literally in increments of one thousand dollars down from twenty-five. So I have a, uh, I have got buy orders at twenty-five thousand. I've got buy orders at twenty-four thousand. I've got buy orders at twenty-three thousand. I've got buy orders at twenty thousand. And you get my drift. This is going all the way down to Bitcoin's previous all-time high uh, of approximately twenty thousand. But I actually have one buy order at 19,000 just in case that does come into fruition i would be super 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 happy to pick up bitcoin at these prices i wouldn't necessarily mind too much if we did go lower bear in mind when i say these are the prices that i'm looking to buy bitcoin these are not swing trades i'm a long-term bitcoin holder and i really do appreciate these low these lower prices for long-term accumulation so when i say i'm buying at 25 24 23 22 i believe that these are going to be beautiful price targets when we're looking back at them in the next couple of years within the next three to six months yes it may get worse so you know hold your horses don't deploy all of your cash at once i've been saying this for the past couple of weeks and for the love of god if you are investing in alt cranes look at the alt crane btc pairs because all of these you know i'll just give you one example solana this was holding up better than most of the alt cranes and all of them are capitulating against bitcoin that's all i've got for you today uh quick summary the dollar is going up cpi numbers up 8.6 percent the stock market is massively capitulating the spy we talked about this the other day uh, we made a video called diamond hands and diamond tops we made this diamond top we broke down from it uh, just like we predicted uh, the bitcoin dominance is still likely to head up over the next couple of days to weeks the bitcoin price is massively cascading into the news of the cpi increasing also tons and tons of volume coming over uh, predominantly on uh, exchanges where you can leverage such as binance and also bybit so uh, really really not looking good that's all i've got for you today as always cowboy out Peace.